Hey guys, it's Tony from Tony Tucci's Tech here, and today I'm going to look at getting set up with DigitalOcean hosting. Now, I've known about DigitalOcean for quite some time now. They always seem to come up in search results when I'm searching for like setting up servers, configuring them, and all that stuff. But I never actually use their product, and today I want to use their product, specifically a droplet. So I want to just go through the process with you guys about getting set up with that, see how easy it is, and compare it to other cloud hosting providers. So here we go, let's do it. So here on the DigitalOcean homepage, up at the products section, you'll see one of their featured project products is a droplet. And basically a droplet and from what I can understand is basically just a virtual instance of a cloud server with uh, some amount of a lot of memory, CPU, and disk space. So let's see what they got going on here. They have a standard plan, which is um, sharing the CPU, and that is from $5 a month, and then dedicated C CPU, which is much more expensive at $40 a month. I'm just interested in getting set up as quickly as possible, as cheaply as possible, um, and it seems like the shared CPU will do the trick for me. So uh, let's see, how do we get set up with them? Oh, and actually this is another good point. I want to be hosting a WordPress website, and let's see if they have that under the one-click app. And it doesn't appear on the first page here, maybe it's on the marketplace. And they do have WordPress, which you can run on Ubuntu 18.04. So that's that's something that I want to do, and I'm interested in. So uh, let's do that. Looks like we can create a WordPress WordPress droplet here. Um, this is what's going to be installed on our server. We got Apache, MySQL, PHP. All looks very good. So let's create a WordPress droplet. Make sure I'm not a robot. I'm not a robot. And um, Okay, I don't have an account, so I'm going to get set up with the account first, and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, guys, I'm back here, and I created my account. I just had to enter my street address and my credit card number, um, but I haven't bought anything yet. So it seems like you're redirected to this page here. This is your first project. Um, we're gonna, probably going to have to go back through that process of picking the WordPress one-click app. So, uh, yeah, so here we can create a droplet. Let's choose an image. We want a distribution, um, more like something from the marketplace. And in the marketplace, we should be able to see WordPress on 18.04 Ubuntu. Um, standard plan, which is the shared CPU. And we want the cheapest plan, $5 a month, which gives us one gigabyte, one CPU, 25 gigabytes SSD, and one terabyte of transfer per month. And you can see you can go all the way up to a lot. So we're just we're just doing this to test it out. All right, um, let's see. Data center region, New York, San Francisco. Uh, right now I'm currently in Bali, Indonesia, but I guess it would be a good test to see something far away like New York. So let's click on New York. And we don't want any of these additional options. Um, this is fine for authentication, a one-time password. How many droplets? We just want one droplet. That's fine, the host name, tags, blank, that's fine. And uh, this is going to go into our first project. So let's go ahead and create that droplet. And it looks like it's in the process of setting up the droplet here. Let's leave that run, and I'll be back with you when it finishes. All right, guys, just checking back in here. It's been about 10 minutes, and the progress has only taken us to about halfway. I just saw it, it was sitting here for quite some time and I just saw it move up to halfway. So I'm not there yet. Um, I'll check back in with you when it's finished. So not too long after giving you guys that update, the Droplet instance finished installing. So you can see here that we are ready to go. And the first thing I'd like to do is to log in via SSH. So here's the IP address. And actually, if you go over to my email, you'll see that we got an email with the IP address, the root, and the password. So let's go ahead and pull up a terminal window and log in. So root, or so it's going to be ssh root at our IP address, and then we'll type in that password. I guess more like copy and paste it in. And we're in. It wants us to change the password for root uh, by default. So Go ahead and do that. 
and it closed the connection. Maybe we'll try, maybe that's just what it does. Um, we'll try the new password. Uh, weird. Okay, let's try the old password. Okay. Oh, it wants the current password. I screwed up. That was my fault, guys. So not the new password. New password now. And... All right, so it's looking for a domain name. So this, um, what are we setting up here? We are doing the WordPress setup. Interesting. I wonder what happens if we go to the IP address in a web browser. Okay, it wants us, let's, let's install WordPress through the web browser. Not really sure. Um, I'm not sure what it wants us to do there. I've never been through that before. So the username, admin, password, and we know that's a weak password. Tony at Tony teaches tech. Install WordPress. Okay, very good. Let's log in with the credentials that we just used. And there we go. We got a seemingly clean instance of WordPress installed with these two default plugins and one sample post. Let's go look at the theme that we got installed. This looks like the 2020 theme. And that is exactly what we set out to do at the beginning of this video. So um, I'd say in general that the process of going through setting up a droplet on DigitalOcean was quite long compared to some other cloud servers that I use. For example, Volter and Leno, they're usually deployed within like a minute max. Um, so this took taking over 10 minutes was quite surprising to me. Um, another thing was logging in via SSH initially, which is, I really like the way they do that. They send you the, um, the email with a default root password, then you have to change it immediately after installing uh, or after logging in via SSH. So that, that was a cool feature that they have set up there. I know like Volter, for example, they have your admin password hidden, but you can copy it in your admin dashboard. So um, that is one difference that I saw there. And as far as anything else, um, the one-click app install of WordPress was pretty straightforward. That basic installation that we went through uh, was fairly consistent with what I've seen on other cloud service providers. So um, yeah, uh, s there's much more to test out here. I'll test some, some more features out, including site speed over the next few weeks. So please stay tuned for those videos. If you got some value out of this video today, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos like this, in the context of web hosting, page speed, SEO, anything that helps you get your website and your business up and running online, uh, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. My name is Tony, and this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'll see you guys in the next video.